Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to the program today, uh, the 28th day of uh, November 2022. You are watching live and direct on Enter Biafra Channel 1 and 2, live streaming app, and of course, on Voice of Biafra 97.5 FM in Biafra Land. Aye Tigo Zoo Mbarang Wurangunishi through age of four. Mbarang Wurang Waiti age of four. Buzuka ka itiria. Itiria go go. Poto poto wena abani huehi. Aye Tigo Zoo Mbarang Wurangunishi. Mbarang Waiti age of four. Buzuka ka itiria. The exposition on precarious and the criminal age of four. You see, we have done is the Nigeria Fulani terrorist that we tear at Mbada. Etiria Wogo. Ayeti Bedia Wogo. Onaba. We have not even started exposing age of four. Age of four is running kiti kiti kata kata kiti kiti kata kata. All of a sudden, those who inconsequential people, inconsequential, they started ranting on social media. Ah, oh, Ejiofa, Ejiofa, this Ejiofa, that. Ejiofa is what we call going, going, gone. I told you people. You are not supposed to go and cross your lane when you know that your hands are not clean. You know, some people are wondering, why did I keep quiet all this long to come now and start exposing a job for? Of course, I have to keep quiet. I don't, you know, rush into things. All this while, we have sat back, we have observed, we have watched, we have investigated, we have researched, we have done a lot of things. Which not everything we are going to make public. So, when we see that age of four was hell-bent on carrying out his agreement with the Southeast governors, it becomes imperative. Kitiye yambaram uramunishi. Become imperative. Aye me ya ke se me ya ne niwe. Me ya no wa ke se me ya ne niwe. Otite we me ke ne. Otite we dulu Jesus. I am telling you people that by the time I finish with Barista Jio Four, any day. They invite him to have meeting. Eba gano we we di betray umu chineke. He will be running away. Ona ba ona bo ku ane meti ana azu azu isi. Age of four is the person that behind every atrocities that you see happening today is the one behind it. And, uh, but you know, this evening I did not come for a job. And what did a job do? You know, some idiot called himself a human right, a human right lawyer. Can you imagine? Somebody is calling himself a human right lawyer. The human right lawyer, or you know, a very stupid and idiotic human right lawyer. They claim, you know, Zoom media, Nigeria terrorist media sponsoring them. You know, trying to make people hear their voice. They are writing against Simon Ekpa. Oh, one human rights lawyer blast Simon Ekpa. Oh, one human rights lawyer threaten lawsuit. Hey, Chineke God. Una amaro nye Simon Ekpa. Una amaro. Is it me that you threaten with lawsuit? Agua bunye gasonanya. You see, 
Um, you know, please, you know, I'm coming late and I might be sounding tired. I'm not tired, <laughs> but uh, broadcasting get up, so but I'm not tired, <laughs> but I will be sounding tired, you know, from one meeting to another, from one thing to another. So I am not tired. Uh, man, I broadcasting get up, walk. So I saw article Fulani sponsored article Makana because age of four after we busted their their oga the oga of the oga of the treacherous oga age of four is the leader of the expelled criminals in DOS age of four is the leader of Chike Dozieha age of four is the leader of China Samushi the Muhammad Abbas age of four is the leader of Ndia Chikote Ekwono. Ejo for gathered all the highest illiterate Amajiris in Biafra land and sponsored them to become media world. Ejo for is the main man. So for, for us to opinion on the Oshi, those people that have destroyed Mazin and the Kano, I have opinion on the Ejo for. What's the Ejo for? I have to go to Uzo. We first of all begin to cut the tail. A baby child Bibi Chando, age of four, chain all the Akago. I will be Chandi, Bibi Chandio, she and do Shoja, and do she, Nandia Mojaga, Bubi Chahodo, Bubi Chahodo. Where will you saw? Saw, you know, Boba saw, no, chain saw. Chain saw can't you wake up, be your four there? I'm sure I have brrrr, obey your four, I caught to her. Oh, you're an also, Mwen and also, can also, Mwen and also, and I'm back, kitty, kitty, kitty. The next day, and I made broadcast na social media. All that is coming from the highest command. Do oh, you want to cease fire? Simon Epa is about to release the bomb. I don't want to be part of it. Oh, also, no name for the past one year. They focus on destroying everything Mazin and Mikano have done. Today, you all see what is happening. Our moon. Anybody that you are not clean, don't attack Simon Epa. Do not attack Mazinam the Kano's legacy. Do not destroy Biafra. Once you I wag it. Hmm. Well we are yo isimba. I walk again. Well we are yo isimba. I walk again. Well we are yo isimba. Mbai Gabia. When we are going to come for you, we are coming with you way and on Noma. You went on Omakai Jaga. So, we have not even exposed Baris de Jofo. Everywhere is panicking. Zoo is panicking. Social media is panicking. The Nigeria vanguard, they are writing. You can imagine where a human rights lawyer, although a human rights lawyer, everybody is answering a human rights lawyer. Somebody who called himself a human rights lawyer. Mazinam de Kano was ordered to be released, discharged and acquitted. Did you read anybody, human rights lawyer, writing that Mazinam the Kano must be released? Oh, uh, all the human rights lawyer in the zoo, age of four, criminal age of four, is defending Mazinam the Kano. Age of four was part of the meeting of the governors that led to the death of many ESN commanders. So people were talking with age of four, thinking that age of four is actually a Biafra. Only for this particular Afonshi and the wretched human right, whatever call himself, come out to write nonsense. Oh, we condemn um, uh, Simon Ekpa attack and threat on the Jofo. I do not know where you see the threat on the Jofo. In the Biafra, I have threat in the Jofo, no. He has made the Jofo be exposed. Expose. I am the Jofo now. Koi am bada because he knows that his hands is unclean. He knows that for me to come out to talk about him, and we take him all the information that I needed. Ejofo knows. Ejofo is not a stupid person as such. So for me to come publicly to talk about him, he knows that I have gathered everything. Hi, Chineke Merimebere. Ejofo knows that I have gathered everything. So now, you people know how I do my own. 
I don't, uh, I don't, uh, you know, um, I don't just talk for talking sake. By, by the, whenever I come out, a man of what you go down. So I want Biafrans France to look at what the zoo media have done, trying to distract Simon Ekman with lawsuit. Ha, Chineke. Is it in newspaper that you do lawsuit? I want you people to tell that idiotic Ojo Okoro or whatever. Let him come and make live video to address the expose that we have done on a jail for. We don't know what, who he is. Everybody knows who is a human. If you are a human rights lawyer in Nigeria, we should know your face. We should know what you look like. Are you hiding yourself? Tell that, uh, what is the name again? Ojo Kuro or whatever he called himself, who came to write about it, Jofo. Tell him to come live. Let us see his picture and his video. You cannot be a human rights lawyer and you are hiding. Nobody know you. I have searched everywhere in Google. I have searched everywhere. I want to know this Ojo Kuro or whatever who wants to make a name. I have not seen him. So let us see how he look like. Because you cannot be a human rights lawyer and you are hiding somewhere, writing nonsense in the Zulu newspaper, telling Simon Ekpa, oh, they say one human rights lawyer blow hot. Simon Ekpa should start running from social media. Kitty, 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 kitty. Tell this man, whoever he is, that we say a human rights lawyer is not a spirit. Come out, let us see you. You are going to be proud to show your face. Let us see you. You will not, how can you be a human rights lawyer in Nigeria and nobody and nobody know you? And you are your picture is not anywhere, not even in Facebook. You don't have any profile anywhere. You are just a human rights lawyer in newspaper. Makana a pigomunu shinafo. Ejiofo cannot defend himself. All of us know what is law. I am not a, I am not a novice. Okay. We know what is law. For, for some of you that have experience, your experience in Nigeria is equal to nothing. If one are to the lawyer working on Of course, not all of you. So, but I am telling you today that Ejo for her, Ejo for her, and his criminal gangs are writing articles on newspaper, thinking that when they write articles, Simon Ekpa will stop talking about a Jofo or Simon Ekpa will stop a, a discussing a Jofo. I want you to leave social media, leave Vanguard alone, go to court and sue Simon Ekpa for exposing a Jofo, which I have not even finished doing. Okay? And one thing is that I want to send message to the family of Onyendu. You people on no condition must you allow a geofo to your compound to take anything out of your compound? Say, onion do say. Do not allow a geofo. I know what I'm saying. Because a geofo is now very, very desperate to go and collect sand in Mazinam Dekano's compound. Do not allow him more. To collect sand from Mazinam the Kano compound, though. Do not allow him. Oh, I am shouting it now. You people don't say I did not say it to my ear. Look at Ejimakanante. If a Jofo came or come to your place claiming onion do say ya butaja, one ya, kuru wela kuru mehos isi butaja, don't allow a Jofo to take any sand out of your house, out of your compound. What I am saying now is not a joke. I am very, very serious. So I want this message to go to Onyendu's family. I want this message to go to Emmanuel Kanu. I want this message to go to everybody that is concerned in Onyendu's family. If a Jofo come there telling you that he want to take sand if he tell you anything, whatever it is, do not agree to take Sandu. I know what I'm saying, you know, mm -hmm. because 
that thing is going to do with sand. You can do it. That thing the geophor is going to do with sand from onion this compound. Let him tell you what he wants to do, and you are going to do it by yourselves. A geophor must not be allowed to take any sand from onion this compound. This is the, exactly the way I shouted in that uh, other woman. Who, hey, you know, all of them are the same. You know, when you see today, age of four is going to people and telling them, Simon Ekpa shared the uh, one woman nude. Oh, the thing is breaking his heart. The same woman is coming today. Oh, Simon Ekpa must leave age of four alone. Oh, there Simon Ekpa must leave age of four alone. There is connection. The connection there is that when that woman was shouting, oh, it was uh, somebody had a meeting with the governor. I saw the tree. The tree was behind the house. The house was behind the tree. The tree was inside the compound. The compound was inside the tree. All those things, they were all together working how to betray Mazin Namdekano. They pumped money into to her. And then before you know it, bah, before you know it, bah, one million. Two million, three million. Today, where is the money? The money is gone. <laughs> Today, where is the money? The money is gone. They are not giving her money again. The politicians who who contracted them, everybody is disappointed. The money is not coming to them again. And that is why it is very, very important that you know when your enemy is at the gate. So I want to inform you today, the barrister age of four, who claim that he is a Mazin Namdekano lawyer, is never and were never and have never been Mazin Namdekano lawyer. Rather, he has been the more, the biggest equenso in Mazin Namdekano's life. The biggest equenso in Biafra struggle the biggest mole, Sabo, the Anya in the zoo, in IPOB, the eye of the caliphate in IPOB. That is what Ejofo has been. So, as we started tackling him, exposing him, the eye of the zoo suddenly disappeared. And today, they are all running kitty kitty katakata. I want you to go and look at an uh, update from the same Trichirius Ejiofo, Physicist Nonyendu. Nonyendu is no longer in her spirit, even though he tried to prove you wrong by mentioning Ezebutu Muchinek. But go and look at Aloy uh, Ejimako's uh, update. Onyendu have sent message saying that somebody in Germany should be given a coordinator. And just like they did before, they put it and sweep it under the carpet. Today, the criminal and the killer, Abbas, in Kuwait, is shouting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 we cannot take order. Oh, everybody is going to suffer it. Oh, eh, you cannot interfere. Oh, <laughs> anyway, this is not what we come here to do this evening. Okay, what we come to do this evening is what I call question and answer. Question and answer. Question and answer. But let me play this. The person who said he's the leader of the upper pilot is calling in our house. And we have a leader of in the media center, anybody that is called to bring the any commander says he should be executed. And the media of the other commander in the media center, anybody that is called to bring the any commander says he should be executed. In the media center, anybody that is called to bring the any commander says he should be executed. Because, because what he does, 
Il nous dit qu'il faut s'envoler, mais qu'il faut aller à des bonnes têtes. Vous pouvez faire ça, il va pas venir faire. <laughs> you know, as you hear this thing now, this order that was given by this uh, 
Mohammed Abbas in Kuwait. Uh, total Islamization. This is what a Geofor has sponsored. A Geofor barrister, a Geofor, the criminal and treacherous a Geofor have directly and indirectly influenced the death of the people you saw on that video. Because he is the leader, proxy. He is the proxy leader of the criminals in the US. A Geofor is the one controlling. I don't know. How can you be a lawyer of uh, Mazin Namdekano and at the same time you are controlling the criminal in the, in the US in order to serve the interest of the state? The same people came to you to be after, of course, that this video, this audio was then, not now, nobody listening to them, so, but it is just then. They came to Biafra and they made a press release. Oh, every dead body in Montuari must be buried immediately against our culture, all in the name of to please the people that we are having meeting with. Fulani interest. Muslim interest. Against our culture. Of course, Biafra Warhanan. Everybody knows how it happened now. <laughs> Biafra dealt with them. These same people, these same treacherous age of four, in quest to quench Biafra agitation because he succeeded in planning the kidnap of Maze Namdikan. And we started counting down to Biafra. They mocked us for counting down to Biafra. A Geofor say, who is going to be counting Biafra? A, the person is a scammer. A Geofor is saying that, you know, the the stupid, idiotic, um, um, uh, what is it again, that called himself a human rights lawyer, did not even listen where A Geofor is calling me a criminal. <laughs> he did not even listen to the Igbo version. Maybe he doesn't speak Igbo. <laughs> Maybe the Ojokoro doesn't speak Igbo because his name is not doesn't even sound like a this his name sounds like a fake Yahoo name. That uh, Humarat lawyer is a fake Nigeria. Because which Nigeria answer Mikar? M-I-K-A-R. Mikar. What is what is that? What does that mean? Is a fake. Is a Yahoo Yahoo boy. A Yahoo Yahoo Humarat, Humarat lawyer. What is a Mikar? What Nigerian name is Mikar? He said. Mekar Ojokoro. That is a complete fake name. Inferiority complex. So I want you people to tell me the meaning of Mekar. What is Mekar? So it is a complete fake name. Or Afeji Afojiriadru Ebogar. Who knows whether he you know he was part of those that came from Liberia to apply asylum in uh, <laughs> you know during the Liberia during the Liberia war. <laughs> he came, he crossed the border to you know, Nigeria, they don't have any data now. He crossed Nigeria to, you know, he crossed from the border to Nigeria. And then he began to ask Amica. So he stays in Southeast. And, uh, you know, I don't even know whether it's the Southeast, but it, it, it doesn't make sense. No, I, I want people to go and read the, I read the name. They say, uh, Humarat lawyer, Mikar. They say from, <laughs> okay, somebody said from River State. You see, on the inferiority complex. Even even Mikar cannot you cannot say it was a mistake. You can't say it is a Mike. Mike can never be Mikar. You know. And Nigeria doesn't have data. So even though they made a mistake in your name, you will correct it. So if the person come and say his name is Mikar Ojokuru, what, what kind of nonsense is that? And he's talking to me. Original, me original Igbuma. And uh, some of them are saying, Savarekpa is not Igbo man. Original Igbo. Mwadiana. Mwadiana Karaka. Bohonke Toko. And somebody that is answering Mikar is coming to talk about uh, uh, freedom. Uh, <laughs> original Igbo Karaka. Eh? Eji, Eji, Utara. Utara, Ji, Wezo. Can somebody get a better no rubbish? Hmm? Let us listen to this.
Do you know the meaning of discovery? It means to bring to light something that is buried on the ground. If you can accept that, then you know that your prefer is coming. There is nothing man can do about it. It's too late. Way, way too late. The countdown has begun. Do you know the meaning of discovery? It means to bring to light something that is buried on the ground. If you can accept that, then you know that your prefer is coming. There is nothing man can do about it. It's too late. Way, way too late. The countdown has begun. Still no sound, still no sound. I'm sorry for that. I think uh, we are back. Sorry for the, sorry for the no sound. Sorry for the no sound. We are back. We're back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what they got on, name? Huh? And I do question. And I do question. All right, it is okay now. So, you know, when you see these uh, criminals, tell them that my name is Njoku. Njoku. Eh? Me mari Njoku puta na nibu. Ije juese. Ije juese. Njoku. Hey! My people perish for lack of knowledge. <laughs> I want knowledge, you no knowledge. <laughs> My people perish for the lack of knowledge. <laughs> I don't know how these people do it. You know, the people can I, the people that uh, when they want to when they want to pronounce uh, uh, L, they say R. <laughs> when they want to pronounce R, they say L. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Hey, Chineke God. Hi, Chikuo Kike Diego. You know, because he can't be mad. 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 He So, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. 
not knowledge, yo, but knowledge. And so the thing baffles me. So tell them that I am on Joko. Me maro yapa. Imaru go dun joko. Me maro Simon. At least. Imaru go dun joko. If you don't know Simon, you are going to know Njoko. If you don't know Ekpa, you are going to know Njoko. You will go to Nkana Agagodu. Jwese. Because Akumoku we put over. So when I want this criminal to focus on Mazingam the Kanu case, even what, even with what we know, it was as if he was never going to let go. He continued to the path of destruction. He continued to fight against the Biafra. He continued to uh, fight against the interests of Mazinam Dikan. So a for to continue to be in the media, in the legal team, is completely unacceptable. In fact, a for should not be allowed anymore to go to see Mazinam Dikan. This is what everybody should be talking about now. It is not about Simon Ekpa alone. Ejiofo is a big, is the biggest mole and threat to Mazen Amdika. But you know one thing. You know, he said uh, Chike Dozieha is his client. Have you ever had anything like that? Somebody is in prison. Somebody is in DSS dungeon in the name of Mazen Amdika. And Mazen Amdika is the founder of IPUB. Mazen Amdika is the leader of IPUB. Mazinam the Kano is the reason Ejo Four become the legal counsel to IPOB. It was Mazinam the Kano. It was not Chike Dozier. Chike Dozier was not the one who contracted Ejo Four. Chike Dozier was not the, the uh, uh, head of the, the whatever when Ejo Four become the legal counsel to IPOB in 2015. Chike Dozier was not anything. Ejofo today is thanking his client in the name of Chike Dozier. How did Chike Dozier become the client of, of Ejofo? As what? The person that is the client is the person that is in prison. Ejofo did not recognize Mazinam the Kanu as a client. Because Ejofo know that Mazinam the Kanu being alive today, he can never be messed with. Ejofo know that the only way to control Mazinam the Kanu outside is by controlling Chike Dozieha. So he need to do everything to give the recognition to the Dozieha criminal. No, dear. Ndena na in law ego. Ndena na in law ego. And I have everything to show when the time comes. So, a dossier, ha, and a jofo has become one. That is why a jofo will come publicly to say, Chik, a dossier, ha, is his client. He is thanking him. Stanking him because he has succeeded, he tried, he thought he has succeeded in destroying IPUB through Chike Dozieha. That is why they are appointing everybody that Mazin Namdekan has sacked in the past. They are appointing everybody that is going to fight Mazin Namdekan. That is exactly what they are doing. All the people they sacked in America and they replace other people, and the people they replace them with are those. Who will do everything to destroy Mazen Amdekan? Today, you saw this. You see, the struggle will continue like this. So I'll be telling them. You see, this is our, our way now. Mind your business. We mind our business until Onion do come out and until we get Biafra. That is the way it is going to be. So, those who have decided that they are not going to obey the order of Mazina, especially when the order has to do with something that will bring meaningful thing to the struggle. A Jofo will tell Chike Dozieha, don't try it. Anybody that is going to obey Mazinam the Kano, don't put the person. That is where you see the, all of them are running. 
and the lawyer Jimako has to come and use coded language, coded language to inform whoever that is concerned that this thing you put under the carpet, then do have given a message for you to raise a memo. I get a general school to learn how to raise a memo. If you fall, I can help you. I can help you. Mono case it is a memo. Because I have a case it is a memo. I can help you. You have a case it is a memo. Everything I am saying here, anybody that is in carcass of this IPOB, and you know that what I'm saying is truth, and you have been deceived, and you continue to pretend that because uh, you have attacked Simon Ekpa before, so coming back now to say Simon Ekpa, uh, well, uh, let us support you, what you are doing for the struggle. Uh, so it is going to be a shame. <laughs> the shame that is coming to you is even more than the shame you are going to get when you come out now. I am telling you. Because all that show could in. Otherwise, if you are if you are very, very close to what is going on and you know IPOB very well and you know this struggle very well and you listen to what I'm saying now and you and what I'm saying is truth, but yet you say, okay, well, I'm not going to support him. You are doing yourself, not me. But if you don't know, it's a different thing. So let's assume that their own juju catch you because that is what they do. So you don't know what you are doing. I will be praying for you with those surgeon. <laughs> oh, Soji, from the head of the dragon. We'll be praying for you so that <laughs> your head will clear <laughs> one day. Okay? But we are here for actually a uh, question and answer. So we've used one hour, at least uh, 40 minutes to explain some certain things. So by tomorrow, we are going to focus on Nigeria again. I'm going to be analyzing uh, uh, um, Major Mustafa's uh, statement tomorrow. So come tomorrow and listen to deeper, deeper uh, exposition of what uh, what made Boko Haram to be in Sambisa Forest and what has been going on there from the testimony of uh, Major Al Mustafa. We are going to, by the special grace of God, analyze that particular uh, this thing tomorrow. And then also our women that has been humiliated and assaulted by the terrorists in uniform. <laughs> it breaks my heart because I watched the video with very keen interest. I listened to where one of the officers were speaking Igbo. Igbo. To those women have you seen it have you seen why these people in uniform that speak Igbo will also continue to be used as sacrificial lamb in our land how can you be an Igbo man in Biafra and you are molesting women who all they did was to protest. Was to protest. You circle them. Humiliate and insult them. Manhandle them. Publicly. And you are speaking Igbo. A man. You carry belt to flog women. Have you people seen why, you know, Whoever they are, they call a non government. I'm not having mercy for these people. These people are heartless. They are very, very heartless. If a man who have children and have wife and have mother can treat Biafra women like that, that person do not deserve to live. I'm telling you because if camera remove the camera, they are going to shoot them. That person don't deserve to live. But that is what we see today. Nigeria do not have respect for anybody. Not for our women, not for our children, not for our elderly people. Nigeria is a failed state. 
is a failed experiment, is an evil entity, and it must end next year. I get end there. Oh, Nigeria got resign. <laughs> Nigeria got all resign. I got all resign. And let me tell you, people, next year, <laughs> when this thing will begin to happen, it will, it will shock a lot of people. Because, you know, some of the uh, politicians today, they are still, uh, you know, uh, making, uh, you know, campaign. They're making campaign. Campaign in the sense that, uh, that uh, you know, so, you know, they believe that somebody is going to vote them. <laughs> You know what we are going to do to this politician in Biafra land? We are going to bring them down to our level and beat them with experience. Because you know the level where you are. As an ordinary person, they call you, who you, you know, who have not been elected to any position, who is not the senator, who don't have access to bulletproof car, who don't have access to central bank, you don't have access to anything. We are going to reduce them and they are going to come back, come down to our level, and we are going to beat them with experience. So first of all, we are going to reduce them down to the level of nobody is conducting election. So therefore, they are not going to be elected. You are not going to have any representative from Biafra land. And then by March, by March, the result, Bogo, the result is that election did not hold in Biafra territory, and nobody has been elected. So you have reduced them. To your level, and yet we lose the experience of Piaka Shaha. We lose the experience of War Hakaji. We lose the experience of Tiaham Badam Wurawunishi. You know, that is, they don't know. The countdown, you have, you know, I want you to check today is 97 days to go. So, this 97 days to go, you calculate 97 days. Until next year, and you are going to know which day is exactly this 97 days going to end. By then, they have the for at least the date they have fixed for this particular election has passed. Anything that flies in Biafra air, and about to wear. <laughs> I am telling you, anything that flies on the air to come and attack us, and I am not hiding it. All. From next year, after we have successfully protected and defended our land, prevented Nigeria from having anything to do with election in Biafra land. And you are everywhere. Come. And do that thing you are doing in Olo. Come and do that thing you do in Olo. Come and bring that to your, your helicopter. And do pa 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 pa. I could talk it. One, one time. It's not a, you know, it can never happen again. And you will go free. But I appear to work it. This one that are doing in Enugu, you know, you come and use the helicopter to drop weapons to the, to the uh, terrorists in Enugu. We are going to bring you down. That is why when I was showing them today, when they are, they are flying helicopter with Nigeria flag, after we after Biafra hoisted our flag and invoked the spirit of Biafra all over Biafra all over Biafra land, what they did was to go and. Uh, and uh, bring a helicopter, three helicopters, and they are flying. One carrying Nigeria flag and flying over Enugu. <laughs> we look at them and laugh. From next year, I believe. I believe you know that you you people know by now. From next year, it is not going to be possible. I get, I get go soon now. It is no longer business as usual. We watch. We watch how they molesting our people. Even today, I watch a video. Everybody is on the run. Our market is on fire. Everywhere is on fire. Thinking how to, you know, conduct what they call economic jihad on our people. It is not going to work. The killings in Biafra land, what the way they have killed our people have made us more strong. So gun and bullet can't stop us. 
cast off this beard. And I believe they should know that by now. There is no amount of gun and bullet, ammo tank or whatever that is going to stop us. They are receiving it woto woto. Woto woto. The other day, the other ones were in one place. Asawana. Asawana. Wana. Asawana. Wana. Anada kiti 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 kiti. Boom, boom, boom. Anada piaha. It is no longer business as usual. You can't come and kill us and go back. No. And uh, it is good. They are not uh, announcing it. So sometime we'll be interested to know how the scores will be. Let them announce the score. So we will uh, we will uh, we will know the scores. Uh -huh. Let them come and announce the scores. As I wanna wanna as I wanna wanna another another. You need now put here your formula. Age of four was the eye of Nigeria in IPUB. All the commanders that died, age of four was part of the eyes. Age of four entered IPUB and Mazinam Dikano was taking him as a lawyer and he became the eye of the Nigeria government in IPUB. He became the eye of Omahe in IPUB. This one where this guy is saying Omahe is paying them salary. Oh, Simon Epa went to them and said, come, let us pay you salary. You can imagine the stupidity of these people. Simon Epa is paying ESN salary, yet they claim Simon Epa have kidnappers. I do not know whether it is somebody will go and kidnap. Simon Epa will come and pay the person salary. And, you know, is there any sense behind it? Of course. But the people that uh, are doing this thing are senseless people. Uh -huh. If they are not uh, senseless, how will somebody be accusing Simon Ekpa of all the crime in Nigeria, all the kidnapping in Nigeria, yet they say Simon Ekpa is recruiting people to come and pay them salary. I do not know whether the salary is coming from where they go and kidnap themselves or which one is it due the one the governor is paying me. I don't know where the money for the salary is going to come from. Where they say I recruit people and they go and be kidnappers and commit crime and all manner of things. All these things are just lies from illiterate. Lies from people whose hands are not clean. Because when they open mouth to talk, you will know that, you know, these are people who don't, you know, because of the, the level of the compromise, they don't, when they, even if they lie, the lie cannot make sense. <laughs> the lie doesn't make sense. You, you know, if you listen to the man who called himself a lawyer, he can never grant interview again. This uh, criminal of who went and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, make a, a, a interview. The, inter the whole interview opened the eye of Bia France. I know that uh, one of the one of the criminals, uh, one of the DOS criminal uh, platform, immediately after the criminal for interview, everybody began to disappear from that platform. <laughs> it was, it, it was like, it was like magic. <laughs> after a job, after a job for it, I mean, <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't expect it. <laughs> they didn't expect it, <laughs> you know. So what was happening in that platform is that when you are poor, you will see <laughs> this, this one I have left. <laughs> this one I have left. <laughs> this one I have left. <laughs> And since that day, since that day till now, <laughs> the platform, the platform become empty. <laughs> and, and one thing is that, one thing they don't know is that we are everywhere. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. We are, we are everywhere because how, how can you, def no, no matter how stupid you are, how can you defend that? Oh well, you know, there is something that you cannot, there is something that you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot they'll close the platform. <laughs> somebody said, somebody said, somebody said they close the platform. <laughs> there is something, there is something you can, there is something you cannot defend. No, no, no I'm telling you. <laughs> we're all watching that 
we are in all their platform. I am telling you the fact. So what happened was that immediately after that interview, with and you can imagine the man, the man, the criminal for was in the interview and saying, "Oh, welcome to the mother, the mother of interview." Hey, Chineke God, everybody was waiting. Mother, go and watch it again. Everybody was waiting. Mother of interview, mother of interview, mother. The man himself, who want to give the mother of interview, even came to the interview and said, eh, thank you very much. This is going to be the mother of interview. <laughs> and then he even bragged. <laughs> he even bragged that after this interview, nobody will listen to the Ekberima again. Ekberima in Finland. <laughs> he can't be a perima. You know, he said after this interview, nobody is going to listen to this experiment again. My brother, my sister of Biafra people, today we are 14,000 people watching this program this late. 14,000. 3,400 on YouTube alone. But how many people watch that uh, broker? Oh, it is the one we give you. If it is the one we post that people, some people don't, who won't waste time listening to idiot? He came and said, this is a mother of all this position. My brother, after the interview, all their criminal platform, everybody, <laughs> because, and actually, actually, he, believe me, it was spiritual. And your first said, after today, people are going to be healed. Ndi mburo gagije. Ndi pulishi gafuzo. You know, those who their, their head will block, their head are going to open. <laughs> and it actually happened that truly, truly, Ndi Purishi started seeing. <laughs> Ndi Purishi started seeing. The Nguro started walking. Everybody that was dead rose up. Everything that it was unbelievable, spiritual. Exactly the prophecy of a Jofo. <laughs> and that was actually what happened. Immediately the interview, bam! In their platform, they begin to see road. They begin to rise up. In their platform, they begin to rise up. Because that was how they bam! When they came, they bam! When they came, they bam! And that's again. I don't, I don't do it again. <laughs> I should make a god. I don't do it again. I should make a god. I think I'm brother. I don't do it again. I should make a I don't do it again. And if you if you listen to some of the frustrated uh, one, they carry the video of uh, one uh, a spend woman, a spend woman from Hindu. You know, they carry the video and analyzing. Oh, someone is a criminal. Someone is working with Omari. Someone is the one who are killing people in the southeast. <laughs> and they started analyzing it. Hello, <laughs> Bello. They never want to analyze it, your first interview. I don't know why. <laughs> they begin to analyze the one that is calling the Simon Epa is a fight. They are fighting for mining. They are working with Obahi. Obahi is killing people. <laughs> they left a job for. They left a job for. And they begin to analyze the person Haborono. The same woman Haborono. The same woman they don't want to hear anything about. <laughs> They begin to carry the video of the woman. The same people, Bob Risk, all of them, are the ones they are analyzing that. They bring their video. Oh, come and listen, come and listen. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. Why is a Jofo interview not relevant again? Why are they not analyzing a Jofo interview? To use it to expose Simon Epa. That did not happen. But a Jofo interview actually delivered a lot of uh, a lot of them their eyes were open and when they were leaving those platform i was very i was laughing hey 
this one no get up poor i think in emeka emeka have left this uh, <laughs> emeka have left this group i know that see chukwado up one at this group we are for uh right up one at this group <laughs> you know <coughs> you know the illiterate they even went the Biafra writer, whom I was a writer, they went and shared the, the tweet of Ejiako Ejimako today. <laughs> they went and shared the tweet. I don't know whether they have deleted it. So please, can you go and check their platform to know whether they have deleted it? They shared Ejimako uh, because they didn't understand it. You know, when they, they see Chiki Dosiaha in the. <laughs> The see chicken, you know this illiterate. The see chicken does here in the tweet. Ah, in Jamaica, wrote chicken does here. <laughs> and the pia, they shared it. <laughs> so, not until, not until the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, Muhammad from Kuwait begin to cry. <laughs> they will go back. They will go back and read, I read it again. <laughs> Hello, Bella. What happened here at this struggle? Hello, man. After they have seen that uh, the Muhammad in, uh, in Kuwait was crying, oh, you cannot come here and tell us what to do. You cannot uh, be interfering. It will backfire. <laughs> they, they went back to their to the tweet and to re read it again. What what did he write? <laughs> because the situation is here. <laughs> I want you people to go and Check the pro their uh, their page whether they have deleted it because honestly it will never go well. <laughs> it will never go well with uh, with them and the age of four because how can they be how can they stand and be and be intervening age of four from Ukumango? Biafra writers reporters from Ukumango in Abuja. How can how how will they how will they share that thing and then still go to age of four? And they stand in Ukumango waiting for Jofo to come out and say, Yes, this is a uh, right. They deleted it. <laughs> somebody, somebody said they deleted it. <laughs> you know what they don't know? What they don't know is that we are following them. Because how can you, for you to know your enemy, you need to know what they are doing. For you to destroy your enemy, you need to know what they are doing. They said they deleted it immediately. Niti. <laughs> Umu itim pataka. Umu iti boribo. Hafu kwa rana chike dozi ya ha. Na di tuwe te piya. Ashe ya yozu mo. You know. Their own is that. Oh. Oye ndu rekoganaise dozi ya ha. Oye ndu rekoganaise dozi ya ha. And then. They went. And saw. That the Muhammad in Abbas. Of Abbas in Kuwait. Is crying. They went back again. And to read it again. And they read it, and they would never even understand that uh, tweet. <laughs> and they went and they deleted it. That is how bad they are. So my people, today is a different uh, program because you know my brain need to rest. My brain need to, you know, do some things like this so that uh, we refresh our brain for a better days ahead. So now we are going to take a couple of calls, and then we are going to take calls, and then um, and then. Uh, we are going to call it a day. So let us take a few calls. It is called question and answer. This call will last like maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes of call, question and answer, and we are good to go. Right. Maybe we can catch a muzzle pull for stomach or for laughing. Yes. We need to make you to laugh. We are not here. We know that uh, we are facing. That is how we distract our enemies. You know, whenever you see us doing this, know that uh, something is coming. <laughs> Hello, Melo. Hello, Melo. I do not know why they hurriedly went and shared the tweet not knowing the content, not understanding the content of the tweet, only for them to come back and delete it again. After their paymasters started crying, <laughs> they come to delete it. All right, our telephone line is uh, on. You can call and uh, ask your question.
All right, and welcome to the program. Hello, Greetings to you, sir. Greetings to you. Yeah, welcome. Sir. You have one minute. If, if you know the, if you know what this Shalaf is doing, eh, against to the enemies, there you continue laughing, 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 laughing. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> 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 and they are not they are not laughing though they never laugh for the past one year now can, can go ahead and make the program cop walk the next 30 minutes gap walk hey, no <laughs> Yes. You cannot allow them with that material. Mm. Okay? If you don't want them to venture into criminality, you have to take care of them. Yes. What they are trying to do is that when you start when you start the ESN, then you put them into criminality, that is what they want to do. Mm. That is what they want to do. When you see some people going around saying they are ESN, they are the people they say people, they recruit. They mm. do so. Yes, of so course. ESN, only them, only them they catch only them they capture the fake ESN. They're not the capture full and new. Exactly. They are not the capture terrorists though. Only the fake ESN that they capture. Have you seen them paraded any fake for any terrorist fool and say that? Uh -huh. Only fake e they are they are all recruit they are all recruit is to capture fake ESN. <laughs> mm. You see, Ejiofor and his brother, Ejiofor has done Ejiofor has killed his children. He has destroyed the future of his children. His children, his name will haunt his children forever. Well, you know, they, they, his children is innocent. They, they are innocent of this, but of course, they can change name. Uh, you know, they will never know. But uh, their children, his children, are innocent of this. The name we hunt them. The name we hunt their children. The name we hunt them. All these children, the name we hunt them. They will change name. Okay, and no, 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 no. Papa, the Africa will be allowed into the Africa. Hmm. You know, before, man, you know, before when I hear that China, China is uh, kill all the people who are children. Kill and their their members of the family. I was, I was blaming them. Now I realize why they are doing so. Hi, oh, ah, uh, so suppose these people like this, it's very dangerous. You don't know what these people have caused us. You know how many lives they have destroyed. Hello, man. Eh? A drop of blood is is evil blood. They cannot be allowed into the Asa. A drop of blood can never allow into the Asa. I'm telling you this, my dear. I'm telling you, a drop is worse than any other, worse than Abia Africa, worse than Ifadina. Hi. All right, thank you very much, Onyeka. Let us uh, give somebody thank else. You. Thank, thank, you. So much. thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we are going to put. Uh, we are going to put uh, the number on the screen. Uh huh. Moment. All right, uh, you can call the number here. Uh, the number is pinned. And then uh, I'm going to end the program in the next 28 minutes or so. And uh, Mazin Amdikano said that uh, the Biafra struggle is on countdown. Yet, they tell you, do not follow countdown. So let's list it. Do you know the meaning of discovery? It means to bring to life something that is buried on the ground. If you can accept that, then you know that your prayer is coming. There is nothing man can do about it. It's too late. Way, way too late. The countdown has begun.
All right, the line is on and uh, please do not call direct. Do not call direct. Don't call direct. It's WhatsApp, please. WhatsApp, WhatsApp. All right, uh, welcome to the program. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Good evening, Yeah, I'm calling from Italy. All right, go ahead. You have uh, one minute. Yeah. Please, uh, may God continue to bless you. You say? Every enemy that plan against you, they will not die. You say? But they will have stroke in one place to see how the affair will come. <laughs> you say? They will never move with their hand. They will not move with their leg. But they will remain in one place to see how the affair will come. He said. So shall it be. He said. The peace of the Lord be with you. Yeah, I'm with you too. Thank you very much. I'm from Abu Delta State. So we are all the affair. Yes, yes. Abu Mwa the affair. There we go. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Yeah, bye. All right. You're welcome to the program. Hello, Simon. Good evening. Good evening from here. You're welcome. Hi, sister. I'm, 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 so, I'm so happy what is what, uh, the way Biafra is we're focusing on Biafra coming. Yes. So, all these all these governors and and uh, your forehand, all of them need to be arrested. When the time comes, they mm. all need to be arrested and put in one cage. Mm. They will tell us. They will tell us what they discussed, and the highly sensitive security meeting that we are having with the Jofa. Exactly. Mm. They need to tell us. Very important. Exactly. Mm. I can't believe a Jofa is the mole. He is the mole. He never looks real anyway. He never yeah, he is the he is the mole. He is the mole. That is what we call a highly, a highly, uh, you know. Uh, a highly skilled international criminal. Yes. Mm. And even the DOS, Nam they cannot process. All of them is just a complete waste of time. It was a very, it was a, it was a mess. And it is still a mess. Waste of time. Mm. But uh, the point is that uh, God have received the whole thing. Mazinam the Cano's uh, effort did not die. And uh, the legacy did not die, so uh, that's it, that's it, what God have done. Good, they are all coming out mm. because they need to be flushed out before we enter Biafra. All of them. Mm. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Continue. Yeah. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. You're welcome to the program. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening from here. Um, I'm calling from Biafra land. Go ahead, we have one minute. Um, I want to say about P2B stuff because it has been bothering me. I want to say air my mind. You are not, we are not here to air mind about P2B. Are you for P2B or against P2B? If you are against P2B, I'm you against what? him. Okay, then you can talk. Okay, like Biafra all over the world, please listen. P2B in question is telling us to come and vote for him. He, he want to he want us to vote for him on top of the blood of Biafra. Who does that? That's very wrong. That man is very devilish. He can't even move an inch. Everybody should be against him. All you should start talking now. Mm. It is now that we're supposed to be talking. Everybody should stand. Look at what they did to women in Enugu state. Those molested them and everybody was kneeling down. I watched the video, I was like crying. It's unbelievable. Oh God. But let God will judge everybody. That's what I believe in. God, Biafrance will deal with him, especially that man, P2B. Biafrance will deal with him. He will not see you road enter Biafra land. That's my own opinion. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I do not know why I tell people don't call direct line. Why are you calling direct line? You know, ordinary instruction, you cannot list it. Don't call direct line. This line is a WhatsApp line. Call a WhatsApp line. Do not call direct. For some of you, over Sabi, the worry owner. All right, the line is open. The line is open. The line is open. We have, I know that a lot of you are trying and because you can see that the number is coming and coming and coming all the time. Continue to try until it goes through. Do you know the meaning of discovery? It means to bring to life something that is buried on the ground. If you can accept that, then you know that the is coming. There is nothing man can do about it. It is too late. Way, way too late. The countdown has begun. see a lot of people are trying this line and uh, <laughs> a lot of people are trying I don't know how let me close it and then on it again a lot of people are trying the line at the same time so keep trying until it goes through so many miss call calling at the same time Let's see. All right, here we go. Welcome to the program. Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Yes, sir. Uh, Jaffa is just one in itself. Jaffa is different from town hall of the Bala Blue. Mm. But we thank God we have busted him. <laughs> there we go. Jaffa is a very big time criminal, but we thank God. We thank God. We are going to we are going to release all the you know the names of ESN that have died, they have killed in his house. We are going to release exactly. their names and uh and uh, their details very soon. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, All right. Uh, you're welcome to the program. Hello. Hello, Mr. Simon. Good evening. Good evening from here. You have one minute. Go ahead. Yes, please. Um, I'm just want to talk about um, uh, P2B issues i just want to ask some some of our people that want to vote for um p2b, p2B all, yeah, yeah, please we, it is not about to vote it is not about vote because no. vote is not taking place in biafra land so if you no, want to just no i'm not no no yeah. at least at least give you one minute all right if i will appreciate that yeah so our, i'm asking our people that want to free they want freedom and also they want to participate in nigeria yeah. election so what I want to ask them is, if P2B lost the election, as government has, because it's not going to happen, are they going to come back again and start talking about uh, Biafra after participating in Biafra and uh, in Nigeria's election? Uh, of course, they know that even if uh, we uh, we allow it to happen, which is not going to happen, P2B is not going to win. They knew that. Now, if that happened and they fail, they will come back again and start protesting. And the people that die are because of our about the African Mazen and the Kano. So what are they gonna tell them and tell Mazen and the Kano when he come out that he left them and then at the end of the day they host the election and then we we'll start again. And uh, again my question is P to be if they stole the mandate from him, can he be bold enough to say, No, they still they, they stole this thing from me? 
they can never stand up because you know it's a revolution. It will be it's a one Nigerian list. And our people should try and understand where this guy is coming from. It's a complete one Nigerian list. They are all protecting their interests. Our people should first and foremost go for freedom. Freedom is more important. All these people are okay. They have money, they have firm, they have everything they want. It's the poor people that are suffering. I don't know why it's very easy to convince them to do all these things, going out there for campaigning, why they are seeing people dying. All this why the Northerners are dealing with our people. They are not seeing it. All of a sudden, they are singing praises. With the little, little things they are telling them, they are convincing them. That's why I just want to chip out there because I believe your platform is way big enough for them to listen and then let them think, sit back and think about what I just said. If that man will come out to say tomorrow, <laughs> no, they stole well, my mandate. Uh, because yes, I think well, it's also uh, man. Yeah, my brother, you see, I do not uh, want people to come here and talk about, uh, ask a question about whether if he failed, they will come back to Biafra. You know, we don't want to give them that voice. So the Biafra has made their stand. So, and uh, uh, we are going to make sure that our stand uh, is actualized, which is no election in Biafra land. And we are aware that uh, uh, next month, there are going to be some rally in Biafra land. And in those days of this rally, there is going to be a complete seat at home. Does not matter whether the rally is going to take one week, we are going to declare it at home. That one week sit at home in Biafra land. It is going to be a preparation to what is to come in 2023. So I don't know, I don't want people to come here this evening and start talking about P2B. It doesn't, uh, it is irrelevant in what we are doing because uh, we have addressed that and our position is very clear. So we don't want to know those who want to follow P2B to do campaign can go ahead and follow him until further notice uh, when they are going to come back and uh, join what we are doing so we're not here to discuss p to b and ask the question so i want uh, going forward any other caller that is going to call to talk about p to b please do not call if you don't have any other thing to say thank you very much all right yeah all right so p to b issue is discussed and uh, sealed is not uh, our concern because the election is never going to take place in the Afro land so there is no point uh, whining the question of uh, whether if you lose it, but the people come back and if you don't come back, you will, you will and all that. Election is not going to... Peter B can go to North and contest the election, and uh, that is the result of Biafra. He is not bigger than uh, 70 millions of Biafrans who don't know who don't want to be part of Nigeria election. So, and that, I think uh, that we don't have any case there. So that issue is solved. All right, the line is still on. That issue is on. The uh, line is on, and uh, we are going to receive call for the next 15 minutes, I think. <laughs> Somebody said, Joker. Joko is grandfather's there. <laughs> he built a house in the front of our ship <laughs> of my village. Where three where the three kings go for sacrifice yearly. <laughs> Good. Oh my goodness. Just in minutes I have received like sub for uh, three hundred uh missed call. 300 miss call call on whatsapp not direct call please all right You know, some people feel that uh, I am the one <laughs> choosing the call. I'm not choosing the call. 
you are lucky your call will enter hello hello Good yes evening. yes so welcome to the program you have one minute okay thank you very much go ahead um i want to start by thanking you for your good work anyway then secondly i just want to quickly ask about the um the tweet you made about the shutting down of the road from Okona to udi uh i want to know if those people are for us or against us if they are for us i just i hope there is um a good synergy between them and you and if they are not sorry i'm listening okay. now yeah okay yeah but if they are against us what advice do you give us as a security measure so that people don't run into the wrong hand That's well anybody anybody that is against the kidnapping of fulanese can never be against us and of course we know how we treat those who are against us so if they are against us we are going to treat them the way we treat those who are against us but anybody that is against fulani anybody that pick up arms to fight against the kidnapping by the fulani in biafra land is not against us and uh, i can assure you that uh, the people like uh, Ebubago, Ebuben, Kapi, and Co. Have you ever seen them going after Fulani kidnappers? Of course not. Uh -huh. So that is it. So their their own uh, job is not to fight against the the uh, the terrorist Fulanis, but to fight the Eastern Security Network. The main job of Ebubago is to kill Biafra youth. And that's it. So any other security whether it is village vigilante whether it is village uh, organized security whether it doesn't matter in whatever nomenclature if you say you are going to fight against fulani terrorists and you don't go against eastern security network so what do we, we don't have any problem with you as that that's that i think that answered the question and remember that uh, okay. in four corner our uh, you know we have started not just in four corner most part of Enugu state who have started uh, combing the forest there. So, and uh, so work is ongoing and it will continue until you okay. hear, you hear of them no more. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. That was Thank, my you. Question. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, somebody has been calling me. You're welcome to the program. Yes. You know, I am not. I am not. It is not my fault that your number has not been going through. So I decided to call you back for you to know. I am not selecting who I answer the call. The number is just jamming and uh, a lot of people are trying at the same time. So you're welcome to the program. All right. Okay, can I uh, speak out now? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Ago, mamu. Dewo. Mamu. Dewo. You say? I'm not going to of one able Ajima Jesus Christ of Rachinaki when I see Megan Aganir. You say, Mua Chinaki, you went into my Latvia fragment to Wagi. You say, And they took it on one cable. No, one cable. You know, money in a man, all give me that up here. Oh, is 
jivike adalamba ama mnega adamba ah mba adala na kwa yeso gina azo kanko okay gambo abo mnana omu o ndewo ezinwa ke ndewo ile bis na abona na phone ke me ari meso ke tembu iji we bido elo ra nyo go eh ai meso ke ndewo omu 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 bo munegi kelere nwam ndewo aba fisu president ndewo ndewo thank you okay thank you mwam Thank you, Thank you very much. Is he care? No. Oh, give you a me second. Oh, give you a libo. More than more, let's look in a room. Is he care? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That one. No. One moment. No. Get in one. All right. Uh, Please uh, keep trying, keep trying. You're welcome to the program. Hello, man. Hello. Yeah, man, we are done here. There we go. Go ahead, one minute. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. There we go. Okay. Man, I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, but uh, they, these people that uh, uh, that we are chanting as our na, as our na. So the thing is really giving me a very heavy thought because the last time I stepped outside the football video, which is a uh, group, these boys we are chanting the same language. So this is this thing means that these people are working for outside the football. Of course, that is the point. So and uh, yeah, are you just knowing it now? No. So I mean, because of this particular thing, uh, this particular thing that you have seen, is uh, I think it's high time that we, we go for actually the football as we are out for uh, um, a, a, a job for because we have a meeting with um, actually the football. So that means that these two parties are working hand in hand. And that is why Jeff, that is why that is why we are making these expositions. And uh, so Asare is not the only person that uh, Jeff had meeting with. So Jeff must be able. Pretending to be representing the interest of Mazinam the Kano and IPOB, went into a secret deal with uh, these people to, you know, to destroy the Biafra movement and destroy the Eastern Security Network. And uh, ever since then, you see how the full, the governors has kept moot because they were in charge of the of the criminals in the US. So they don't need to make noise again. So. They begin to do whatever the governors want them to do. They begin to fight against the collective interest of Biafra people. They begin to fight against it at home. And uh, everybody have seen what is going on. So the point here is that when, they, when Omahi say he is going to create a parallel uh, IPOB, this is exactly what it is. So they have actually taken control of the criminals in the, in the DOS that were spelled and that's why we made a resolution on the 20, on the 28th of, of February 2022 that after that date they will never ever recover again and they will never rise again because the spirit of Biafra have left them. And that is exactly what is going on now. They collect money. And uh, so and I have evidence of some of the money they collected, not just about saying it. And uh, I, in the, and I know that I know where you know how they how they started collecting money from uh, so Ludo's uh, in-law, a man called the maker. So, uh, and uh, of course, they know that I know that. So, um, okay. but anyway, uh, yes, we are making this position for people to know what is going on. And uh, uh, it is not a news that uh, uh, the people that are coming for to kill our people in the name of Ibubago are not uh, uh, Igbo-speaking Biafrans. Uh, so that I think that is in public uh, knowledge already. So the question is: the question is, what was the uh, what was the meeting uh, Ejofor was having with Asari Dukubo? You know, the the, the Abubago did not uh, come to kill uh, Fulani terrorists. Abubago did not come to protect our farmland. Abubago did not come to fight uh, kidnappers. Abubago come mainly to destroy Biafra struggle, and it was part of the meeting that Ejofor was having with the Southeast governors. Including uh, uh, the uh, Sari, it was part of the meeting that Jofo was going 
even while Onyendo was still free. Jofo was planning all these things, having a meeting with them to the extent that he came and they revealed to the criminals in the US that one governor told him that they are rounding up on Onyendo. That information that the Jofo told the governor is not as if he was giving information. It is something that he was part of the meeting. And he was playing all these games. Nobody knew about it, including Onyendo do not know. But I believe that Onyendo will come out and we listen and see the analysis we have made so far and the confession of, of uh, Barrister Jofo and many of them that were involved. Then Onyendo can make a, you know, can make his own uh, conclusion based on what he know that happened to him. Because uh, Jofo said that Onyendo, Onyendo, uh, that he was representing Onyendo in those meetings to end the insecurity, according to him. And he was also attending those meetings as a nationalist, which means as a Nigerianist. So he cannot be yes. serving two masters at the same time. Yes. The criminal. Mm. Thank you very much. So, and, and, and another thing I wanted to point out uh, is um, this is our brother, Nam, the, the, the one that is the, the general, the Japan army general. So I wanted to make that pitch some point over his own case because um, the time, Mas Nam became a moderated CSM, there was a particular department he brought out. That, that we are manufacturing uh, law, Any, law, anything, law, anything law. that anything that has to do with our security or anything that has to do with our ESN is no longer discussed on social media. So I'm sorry to cut to you on that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Martin. Yeah. All right. So the line is still open uh, for those who want to call. I know a lot of people are calling. And they continue to call. I have two minutes to go. I think this is going to be probably the last caller. Welcome to the program. Okay. Onye obona mmolo nya nna nde ka no mbo. Ya ma no nwe ngbo ji we trust o ji o esna. O ige message o kulo tiri na na chipo ko bi o ma gwala e se na time lu ha na ndi na ya na ndi ni ya nyela aka we nwete bi afra na o ge lu ha na no ya o ya ma. Mm. All the years on a e me agitation na o nwala e dia na Yes. And sacrifice every sacrifice Somebody phone joy, non hundred men. On our weather, not the shocking news about now as he's talking all the years, and they have about fifteen people. You have on how they more than fifteen. <laughs> so, when you open even Google message, is my question really today. Yeah, coded message. It's my question really that message. Or how the lawyer after mana, or for the year so, eh, me or for you, you can cause of one in our water. It's my question really message as a coded message. But a lot of people are water. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me uh, thank you. Let me call the last person. We have been trying everything to call, and uh, it is not going through. All right, Abigail, you're welcome to the program. You're welcome to the program. Man, this I want. There we What's wrong? Ah, is he still ringing? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Can you, uh, you are listening to the, the uh, device. Can you listen to your phone, please? Yes. Yeah. So, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. You're welcome to the program. Talking to you. I cannot believe I'm talking to you. You cannot believe you're talking to me. I can't believe it. 
But you are talking to me. Let me sing your song for you. Okay. Oh my God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We can't hear you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, I wish you a very, very happy birthday. I've already ended the program like I don't want to pick calls, but then, uh, you know, so you see that uh, your birthday is a special uh, birthday today. So I wish you a very, very, very happy mm -hmm. birthday. And uh, I wish you good health okay. and uh, and prosperity. Amen. Amen. God bless you and your family. We love you. We love Thank you. you. We love you. Thank you. We can stop for you. Thank you. Have Thank a you. good work. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. And then we are ending it here. So thank you very much for being part of the program. Tomorrow we are going to go straight to our normal exposition of the Nigeria state and why we are leaving Nigeria by 2023 and why you must come out now to support the movement for the liberation of Biafra. May God bless Mazina Bikano. May God bless Sunday Igboho. May God bless Professor Banji. May God, Kintoye. May God bless our Umada and their husbands. May God bless our media team. May God bless all our supporters, sponsors, donors, those, our chiefs, Igwe, others, chief priests, traditional head, and all that. May God bless all of you. And may God bless Biafra. May God bless you and share this program. From here, from me, it's good evening. The meaning of discovery it means to bring to light something that is buried on the ground. If you can accept that, then you know that your friend is coming. There is nothing man can do about it. It's too late. Way, way too late. The countdown has begun. the meaning of discovery it means to bring to light something that is buried on the ground if you can accept that then you know that your friend is coming there is nothing man can do about it it's too late way way too late the countdown has begun the meaning of discovery it means to bring to light something that is buried on the ground 
If he can accept that, then you know that your friend is coming. There is nothing man can do about it. It's too late. Way, way too late. The countdown has begun. <laughs>